most musicals are adaptations. So right. you're doing a musical of Ragtime, of Catch Me If You Can, of the Full Monty. So I was trying to get three people, composer, lyricist, book writer, to agree on this is how we should tell this story. You also have to leave your playwright's ego really at the back door because when you write a good scene and a composer writes a great song, 90% of your scene necessarily goes. You don't need it anymore. Music has said it. And if you're fighting to hang on to every line, no matter how good it was, you're going to be unhappy. So do you write the scene? This is maybe yeah, a really like dumb plays. question. You write the scene first, and then they write the songs, uh, that, and then that, you... That's how I work. I would write there. So I wrote a play sort of called Ragtime, a play for Lynn and Stephen's eyes only. And then they That's hopefully so find yeah. music. And if they say, you know, I've read the scene 85 times, and I, I don't say anything. I don't know how to musicalize anything in it. Then maybe you have to rewrite it or have a big yeah. talk. The best thing I would say is, I think when you're a book writer, if you've done a good book, you're more like the engineering architect. You've, you've done the blueprint for the building, and but none of the decorations. And whenever people say, what about writing a musical? I said, choose your collaborators really carefully with the same care you would choose a life partner because you'll spend what feels like a lifetime. Some of my friends have lived to regret doing a musical, right. and I think because they've treated it as playwriting light. Oh, this is the easy playwriting. You just leave a blank song here. Right, right. No, you've, you're in the you trenches. You're in the trenches day and night with a composer and lyricist, is what you should be. Mm -hmm.